nice to meet you both. I'm nice to meet. Yeah, I'm Betty Louise Plotnik, Vise Cupcake, Illinois. I might as well be. How do you get to be renowned? I mean, like, do you have to be nouned first? Yes, first there's the painful nouning process. God, I was worried that something had happened to you, and of course it has because you're a vampire. Well, some friends of Buffy's played a funny joke and they took her stuff, and now she wants us to help get it back from her friends who sleep all day and have no tans. Oh, those friends. They're funny guys. <laughs> Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to anger. No, wait, hold on. Fear leads to hate. Hate leads to the dark side. Hold on, no. Um, first you get the women, then you get the money, then you... Okay, can we forget that? Thanks for the Dadaist pep talk. I feel much more abstract now. Happy hunting. Wish me monsters. You took your roommate patrolling with you? Well, I invited the whole dorm, but she was the only one that could make it. I told her I was going for coffee, and she decided to tag along. Right. Well, we should discourage you from that, Hammy. All right. Why don't you quit hiding and come out and face me like a thing? And his skin had that, like, super bad fake rub on tan. Translate. Orangey. Oh! She's even affecting my work now. She's the Titanic. She's a crawling black cancer. Oh! She's other really bad things. On the plus side, you killed the bench, which was looking shifty. What are you doing today? Uh, it's a big day for me, actually. A friend of mine recently acquired a, an original Gutenberg demonography, and it suddenly occurs to me that you've never once asked me what my day's plans were, which would lead me to inquire whether you're feeling entirely yourself. <coughs> I don't know if I tighten those ropes enough. Well, then we better go over there and check them. <laughs> oh, dear God. What do you like to do? Well, mostly I hang out and do stuff. <laughs> yeah, I was into that for a while. What's that? What's what? You have a scar. Right. Um... Angry puppy. You should lock your door. Believe me, I am kicking myself. I need to talk to Xander. Go away. Hi. Uh, remember Harmony? She's back from her summer vacation, and she's a little different. Different. Paler. Is your neck okay? Neck. Paler. Puppy, the angry puppy. Yeah, we came to warn you about the angry puppy. I like you. You're funny and you're nicely shaped, and frankly, it's ludicrous to have these interlocking bodies and not interlock. Um, what are you doing? I'm riding Spike Love's Harmony on your back. Why? And you with Harmony. <laughs> What'd you lose a bet? Hey! Did, uh, you and he used to, like, go out? Or... <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, no. No, we really, really didn't. Sun beaming down in a nice, non fatal way. It's very exciting. Can't wait to see if I freckle. You love that tunnel more than me. I love syphilis more than you. What I'm wondering is, does this always happen? Sleep with a guy and he goes all evil? Guess you're not worth a second go. Come to think of it, seems like someone told me as much. Who was that? Oh, yeah. Angel. <laughs> you know, um, I forgot to be hungry. Look, look. It's alive! <laughs> See how you... Shakes. Well, that's the funny thing about me. I 
tend to hear the actual words people say and accept them at face value. That's stupid. I accept that. Hey, Red. What you got in the basket, little girl? Weapons. Oh. Uh, I'm Joan of Arc. I figured we had a lot in common, seeing as how I was almost burned at the stake. And plus she had that close relationship with God. And you are? Of course. I wish I'd thought of that before I put down my deposit. I could have been God. Last remark. What? That's your scary costume. Well, he's frightened me. Thank the Lord. You're welcome. We're gonna have to create a door. Create a door, you can do that? I can. Does anyone hear that? Well, as soon as we start dealing with it, I'll know what it is I'm dealing with. Do you hear something? Like I said, sounds like a hissing. It's like a noise. I thought the word hissing kind of covered that nicely. Summoning spell for Gachnar uh, can be shut down in one of two ways. Destroying the mark of Gachnar. is not one of them, and will in fact immediately bring forth the fear demon itself. I am the Dark Lord of Nightmares, the bringer of terror. Tremble before me. Fear me. He... He's so cute. Tremble. Who's a little fear demon? Come on. Who's a little fear demon? Don't I taunt bring the terror. fear demon. Why, can he hurt me? No, it's just tacky. I should have translated the Gaelic inscription under the illustration of going on. What's it say? Actual size. I can't believe you served Buffy that beer. I didn't know it was evil. You knew it was beer. Oh, what beer? Like beer. Beer good. Beer bad, bad, bad beer. It's nice, foamy, comforting. It's beer. There are men, better men, wherein the mind is stronger than the penis. Nothing can defeat the penis. I tell you, men haven't changed since the dawn of time. <laughs> Fire back. Fire, fire pretty. Fire angry. TV is a good thing. Bright colors. Music. Tiny little people. Want people. Where people go. The TV is off. Want. Want people. What do we learn about beer? Foamy. Good. Just as long as that's clear. You know very well you eat this late. <laughs> You're gonna get heartburn. Get it? Heartburn? Brought <laughs> Gemini's to the raspberry heads. Now you're faking. You're not. Are you sure they're not ready to deal with? Xander! Yes, Mom? I made a nice fruit punch for you and your friend. Would you boys like some? Is it a uh, raspberry fruit punch? Okay. Say that I help. And you start a conversation. It goes great. You like Buffy. She likes you. You spend time together. Feelings grow deeper. And one day, without even realizing it, you find you're in love. Time stops. And it feels like the whole world's made for you two, and you two alone. Until the day one of you leaves and rips the still-beating heart from the other, who's now a broken, hollow mockery of the human condition. Yep, that's the plan. I figured it was. 
<laughs> Just don't ever do that to me again. Oh, never, my little foam latte. Your blondie bear is here to stay. Well, where have you been? No, wait, don't tell me. I'm just glad you're back. And this time it's for good, right? Oh, oh forever and ever, mon petit creme brulee. Ooh, Italian. Oh, uh, yeah. And remember, if you hurt her, I will beat you to death with a shovel. A vague disclaimer is nobody's friend. Have fun. I might not be able to assemble an M16 blindfolded like I used to, or pass weapons drill for the mobile infantry. Might as well face it. Right now, I don't have the technical skills to join the Swiss Army. I can kill you where you stand. Bring it on, then. Ow! Ow! You sissy kicker! I don't understand. This sort of thing's never happened to me before. Maybe you were nervous. I felt all right when I started. <sighs> doesn't this happen to every vampire? Not to me, it doesn't. I, you didn't want to bite me. I just happened to be around. Piffle. I know I'm not the kind of girl Vamps like to sink their teeth into. It's always like, ooh, you're like a sister to me, or oh, you're such a good friend. Don't be ridiculous. I'd bite you in a heartbeat. Really? Thought about it. When? Remember last year? It had on that, uh, fuzzy pink number with the lilac underneath? I never would have guessed. You'd play the bloodlust kind of cool. Mm -hmm. I hate being obvious. All fangy and grrr. Takes a mystery out. But if you could? If I could, yeah. You know, this doesn't make any less terrifying. Don't patronize me. I'm only 126. You're being too hard on yourself. Why don't we wait a half an hour and try again? <laughs> or... <laughs> it is a sham, but it's a sham with yams. It's a yam sham. Well, I think that's a shame. I'd like to think that I love a ritual sacrifice. Here today is all not really a one of those. The start of something that not only to commemorate a past event, you kill and eat an animal. It's a ritual sacrifice with pie. Who? We could not invite Anya. I don't know. She and Xander seem pretty tight lately. Grumble, grumble. You're a strange girlfriend. I'm a girlfriend. Oh, there's a chance I'm delirious. Ah, uh, yes. Look at him. Very diggy. Soon he'll be sweating. I'm imagining having sex with him again. Imaginary Xander is quite the machine. So she brutally stabbed herself, dumped the body, and then cut off her own ear? No. She cut off her ear, then killed herself, then dumped the body. I'm really off my game, aren't I? Uh, we should be helping him redress his wrongs, bring the atrocities to light. Well, if the history books are full of them, I'd say they already are. Oh, giving his land back. You know, it's we not can exactly always... ours to give. You know, I don't think you want to help. I, I think you just want to slay the demon, then go la la la. And you I know... think your, your your sympathy for his plight has blinded you to certain urgent facts. We have to stop this thing. Okay, unfeeling guy. Oh, Willow, that's not fair. I have to baste. Can we come rocketing back to the part about me and my new syphilis? <laughs> It'll make you blind and insane, but it won't kill you. The smallpox will. Now, this is why I think we should all keep a level head in this. 
And I happen to think mine is the level head and yours is the one things would roll off of. No, please. Oh. Oh. What part of help me do you not understand? The part where I help you. Come on, I'm, I'm parboiling out here. Want me to help make it quicker? Then invite me in. No. Very unlikely. <laughs> Look, I'm safe. I can't bite anyone. Willow, tell them what I did. You, you said you were going to kill me, then Buffy. Yes, bad, but let's skip that part and get to the part where I couldn't bite you. It's true. He had trouble performing. Yeah, well, it looks like they've done me for good. Um, what are you saying? I'm saying that Spike had a little trip to the vet, and now he doesn't chase the other puppies anymore. I can't bite anything. I can't even hit people. So you haven't murdered anybody lately? Let's be best pals. Oh, bloody hell, woman. You're cutting off my circulation. You don't have any circulation. Well, it pinches. Well, you know how bad I feel about this. OK, it's eating me up a quarter cup of brandy and let it simmer. And even Native American. Sorry? We don't say Indian. Oh, oh, right, yes, yes. Um, always behind on the terms. Still trying not to refer to you lot as bloody colonials. Oh, someone put a stake in me. You got a lot of volunteers in here. I just can't take all this mamby-pamby boo-hooing about the bloody Indians. Uh, the preferred term is... You won, all right? You came in and you killed them and you took their land. That's what conquering nations do. That's what Caesar did. And he's not going around saying, I came, I conquered, I felt really bad about it. Maybe it's the syphilis talking, but some of that made sense. I made a lot of these points earlier, but, you know, it's fine. You're evil. You ain't evil again. I'm not evil. I'm here to help Buffy. Hey, is Cordelia really working for you? I mean, because that's got to be a special experience. Of all the people you could have hired... No. I'm here to protect Buffy. I don't have a whole lot of time for personal stuff. Right. Well, how can I help? Well, if you can just tell me... Who's that guy? Angel? He's evil again. I I'm not evil again. Why does everyone think that? We're not at Fort Giles with the cavalry coming to save us. It's one lonely guy, oppressed warrior. How many? Uh... Yeah, the leader upstairs. Um, two by the living windows. Um, one through the window by the door. It's too many. We need help. A bear! You made a bear! I didn't mean to. Undo it! Undo it! Hello? Yes. Um, yes, we're, we're, we're well aware of that. We're under siege now, actually. Thank you. Who's that? Hey, um, someone. What happened? Did we win? Well, maybe we started a new tradition this year. Maybe not. But at least we all worked together. It was like old times. Yeah, especially with Angel being here and everything. Oops. I don't know why you're so dainty all of a sudden. You've done this for Angel. You must have. OK. Hey, give it. I know it's nuts, but part of me believes that real love and passion have to go hand in hand with pain and fighting. <laughs> I get that from. You want something nicer? Look at my poor neck. All bare and tender and exposed. All that blood just pumping away. Oh, please. Giles, make us stop. The only real witch here is fuzzy little Amy. First, she's a perfectly normal girl. Then poof, she's a rat. I 
could never do something like that. Fashions is on. Timmy's down the bloody well. And if you make me miss it, I'll do what? Lick me to death? We can't let you go until we're sure that you're, you're, you're impotent or... Hey, sorry, poor choice of words. Until we know that you're... you're... Flaccid? You are one step away, Missy. Giles, help. He's gonna scold me. One more word out of you and I swear. Swear what? You're not gonna do anything to me. You don't have the stones. Oh, I got the stones. I got a whole bunch of... stones. Hmm? Yeah? You're all talk. Giles! I accidentally killed Spike! That's okay, right? I get this spell reversed. They'll be finding your body for weeks. Oh, make a move. Please. I'm dying for a good sleigh. Well, fine. Why doesn't she just go marry me? If the two of you could remain civil long enough to... Uh, it's just so sudden. I, I don't know what to say. Just say yes. And make me the happiest man on earth. Oh, Spike. Of course it's yes. <laughs> Spike and I are getting married. How? What? How? Three excellent questions. How about a daytime ceremony in the park? <laughs> Fabulous. Enjoy your honeymoon with the big pile of dust. Under the trees. Indirect sunlight only. A warm spring breeze tosses the leaves aside, and again, you're registering as Mr. and Mrs. Big Pile of Dust. Stop it! This is our wedding, and you're treating it like a big joke. Oh, howdy. Look at that lip. Gonna get it. Mm -hmm. oh. Stop. <laughs> yes, please stop. Do you want to be William the Bloody or just Spike? Because either way, it's going to look majorly weird. Whereas the name Buffy gives it that touch of classic elegance. What's wrong with Buffy? Huh. Such a good question. Wow. Uh, who is this guy? Uh, does he go here? Spike? Oh, no, he's totally old. Old? Well... Not as old as my last boyfriend was. Okay. It's late. And I'm... I'm very tired now, so... I'm just gonna go far away and be... away. But... No. But you guys weren't crazy about Angel at first, either. You weren't gonna say that name. Sorry. Spike! He's all untied! Which you probably noticed. Stop whatever you're doing. You, you smell like fruit roll-ups. This is the crack team that foils my every plan. I am deeply shamed. Ooh, red paint. We could smear a little on the mouth. The blood of the innocent. That's my girl. Mm. Stop that right now. I can hear the smacking. Don't I get the cookie? No. Well, I gotta have something. Still have Buffy taste in my mouth. And the bad boy thing? Over it, okay? I totally get it. I'd be really happy to be in a nice relationship with a decent, reliable... Oh, my God, Riley thinks I'm engaged. So you decided to tell me you're getting married? Uh-huh. So, you're insane. Uh-huh. So what have you got going on tonight? Oh, uh, patrolling. Patrolling? Uh, petroleum. Patrolling. Uh-huh. I have a friend who's coming to town, and I'd like us to be alone. Oh, you mean an orgasm friend? Yes, that's exactly the most appalling thing you could have said.
Local code not accepted. Unauthorized beings will be considered hostile. Override code incorrect. We're out of Weetabix. We are out of Weetabix because you ate it all. Again. Go some more. I thought vampires were supposed to eat blood. Yeah. Well, sometimes I like to crumble up the Weetabix in the blood. Give it a little texture. Since the picture you just painted means that I will never touch food of any kind again, you'll just have to pick it up yourself. Sissy. Slayer, chosen one. She who hangs out a lot in cemeteries? It's, it's like... It's the end of the world. Again? Again? Oh, as usual, dear. I am a nice, normal guy. Maybe by this town standards, but I'm not grading on a curve. Paintball. Yeah, I was, I was playing paintball, and then the aftershock, and I came... So you're one of the commando guys, huh? Oh, no, 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 no. Commando, no, I mean... Do I know you? Me? No. No, sir. I'm just an old pal of Xander's here. Oh, that's nice. Come on, vampires! Urgh, nasty! Let's annihilate them for justice and for the safety of puppies and Christmas, right? Let's fight that evil! Let's kill something! Oh, come on! Giles? Go on, then. Let's get on with the fighting. You understand me? Of course I understand you. I'm speaking English? No, you're speaking Fioral. I happen to speak Fioral. Oh, my. I'm an unemployed librarian with a tendency to get knocked on the head. <laughs> Best. I don't know if I'm driving this thing or wearing it. It's perfectly serviceable. <laughs> Funny hearing a Fiora demon say serviceable. Uh-oh. You have butt face. You look like you're gonna say butt. When I saw you stop the world from, you know, ending, I just assumed that was a big week for you. Turns out I suddenly find myself needing to know the plural of apocalypse. Hmm. What you got in the box is drugs. It's not drugs, is it, Xander? Well, the man that worships chaos and tries to kill you is a man you can trust. Close the door! Spike, you may want to give up these morning jobs. Hope you don't mind us tagging along. No, no, of course not. The, the more, the more. 
Are your robot bird sounds hungry. Absolutely not. I will not squat in that dank hole. What? It was good enough for me, but you're above it all? Precisely. What? That's Hostel 17. Oh, no. I'm just a friend of Xander's. <sighs> Bugger it. I'm your guy. By the by, if you're trying to kill her... We were gonna do dumb things like hold hands through the daisies going tra-la-la. What are you doing? I am looking for brainwashy chips in your head. <laughs> oh, oh, God, I'm sorry, did I hurt you? No, a giant skewer through the rib cage hurt me. That was just a reminder. Tell you what I'll do then. I'll head out, find this girl, tell her exactly where all of you are, and then watch as she kills you. Can any one of your damned little Scooby Club at least try to remember that I hate you all? I'd hate to see the pursuit of a homicidal lunatic get in the way of pursuing a homicidal lunatic. Yeah, too bad. That was the funnest coma ever. Dark hair, this tall, name of faith. Criminally insane. I like this girl already. We were dumb. Oh, check me out. I'm wicked cool. I'm five by five. Five by five? Five what by five what? See, that's the thing. No one knows. How do I look? Psychotic. I'm not so good with the whole swimming. Violence. I mean, you're her mother, and she just leaves you here to die. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hi, honey. Ever obey them? Sure. The ones I was going to do anyway. Have to cover Damn the it, area. Man, we have to get inside. The, our um, the, uh, uh, our families are, are in there. Our uh, mothers and, and and tiny, tiny babies. Buffy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. It's just. I'm happy. Faith is evil. Oh, you. And you. You can't do that. It's wrong. Because it's wrong. Because it's wrong. You can't do that. It's wrong. Well, you don't have to worry about me drinking. Unless you're here to protect innocent fears. Because it's wrong. <laughs> because it's wrong. You didn't sense a hyena energy at all, did you? Because hyena possession is just unpleasant. So Willow's not driving stick anymore. Who would have thought? I guess you never really know someone till you've been inside their skin. We could have had a romantic evening planned. We were gonna light a bunch of candles and have sex near them. Well, we certainly don't want to cut into that seven minutes. Hey. I believe that's my hay. Hey. Buffy, guy right in the corner. Yeah. Good call. What? Vampire. It's wicked obvious. So I should slay him. You know why I really hate you, Summers? Because I'm a suck up tight ass with no sense of fun? Well, yeah, that covers a lot of it. Oh, oh, when I had psychic power, I heard my mom think that you were like a stevedore during sex. What, do you want me to continue? Actually, I beg you to stop. What's a stevedore? I am, you know. What? Yours? Sure. Alternate realities. You could, uh, could have, like, a world without shrimp. Or with, you know, nothing but shrimp. Thank you, Colonel. It's about time we burn out the big guns. 
So we're saying he did a spell just to make us think he was cool? Yes. That is so cool. Oh my God, he's gonna do something off the new album. Giles, do you have a Jonathan swimsuit calendar? No. Yes. It was a gift. You can't just go Librum in Cindere and expect... Sandra, don't speak Latin in front of the books. Yeah, back off, Betty. It's Buffy. You big, bleached, stupid guy. Xander? Yeah. Let's go have sex now. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're still here? That's nice. What are you doing? You're not supposed to do that. Oh. Buck up, you. You kill the best. Go, you. Kill, kill. Actually, not needing validation right now, but thank you. Anya, tell them about the alternate universes. Oh, okay. Um, say you really like shrimp a lot. Or we could say you don't like shrimp at all. Blah, I wish there weren't any shrimp, you'd say to yourself. Stop, you're saying it wrong. Shut up, Spike. Ooh, semi-harsh language from Betty. Did anyone else feel way too tall? I felt way too tall. I liked his clothes. He had really cool clothes. I still don't understand how he got the house and everything. And who really did star in The Matrix? Wait, that wasn't real either? We knocked him dead. Which they already were. We knocked him deader. Alternate realities are neat. You know what I'll always remember? Well, the swimsuit calendar sticking in my mind. Not in a good way. I mean, you don't just look at someone and say, hey, that's not your body. Get out of that body with your hands up. Okay. Are you good, Fang? I'll get horny. I mean... You know, you take the killing for granted, and then it's gone, and you're like, I wish I'd appreciated it more. To stop and smell the corpses, you know? Look at the time. Don't you have a class? Yeah, in about 20 minutes. Yeah, but I have that thing. Right, that thing we could squeeze in before. Yeah. Bye. Gotta run. You're probably going now. Yes, thank you, Willow. I did attend the university in the Metazoic era. I do remember what it's like. Oh, oh my God. Wow, wow. <laughs> You really like French. <laughs> oh, it's you. Spike, what are you doing? You made me yell really high. Hey, yeah, I did. I scared you. Give me money. I'm not paying you for scaring me. Hey! What a surprise! Hostel 17! Can I get you a drink? Hostel 17? Just stop. Not paying me. I'm robbing you. Oh, well, no, that's just ludicrous. You can't hurt me because you've got that chip in your brain. Also, I like my money the way it is. And it's mine. <laughs> oh, now, come on. You're not even bumpy anymore. Oh. It was just a minute ago. Hang on. Get me mad again. Behind blue eyes No one knows what it's like To be um. hated uh. To um. be fated Could we go back to the haunted house? Because this is creeping me out. A ghost? What's the deal? Is every frat on this campus haunted? And if so, why do people keep coming to these parties? Because it's not the snacks. Does this really work? Scaring people into giving you their money? <laughs> yeah, it works. Keeps me in blood and beers. Plus, you know, funny, watching the little humans quail. I'm having fun already! Me too! Woohoo! Hey. I know these guys from somewhere. Initiative soldiers, they live here. Experiments happen in the lab under the house. 
It's where they kept you and put in your chip. Let's have fun. What do you feel? Sad, afraid of being without you, and a little hungry. I meant about the house. Oh. Still haunted. What are you doing? You brought me here? Anya? What are you doing? You brought him here? That's what I said. Only I hit the hip part. Now, who's with me? I am. And I'm not the first choice for heroics. And Buffy's tried to kill me more than once. And I don't fancy a single one of you at all. But... Actually, all that sounds pretty convincing. I wonder if Asian House is open. <laughs> Xander, don't you knock? In the midst of all that, do you really think they were keeping it up? Oh, for a different phrasing. The thing about the Slayer is, she is a whiny little thing, but when it comes to the fighting, she does have a slight tendency to win. Then I guess you should be on her side. Once again, we're faced with a fairly daunting prospect of having to infiltrate the initiative. It'd be great if we knew someone dating a man on the inside. You know, someone with connections. Oh, wait! Those, like, regulation? You have to do those every morning? No. Just a good way to start the day. Right. And then you can have your perfectly balanced breakfast, and then you can call your mother. Okay. Been up less than a minute, and somehow I've managed to piss you off. How did you get in? The door was unlocked. You might want to watch that, Rupert. Someone dangerous could get in. Or someone formerly dangerous and currently annoying. Now, now. None of that. Slap my hand now. Thank <laughs> you, In celebration. Oh. Yes. Oh. No, there's woo and, and who. But there's uh-oh and why now? I'll have the less confusing waffles right now. <laughs> Breakfast it is. I feel like some part of me will always be waiting for you. Like if I'm old and blue haired and I turn the corner in Istanbul <laughs> and there you are. I won't be surprised. Cause I'm as free as a bird now. <laughs> you know, for someone who's got Watcher on his resume, you might want to cast an eye to the front door every now and again. I come to see you to help you. And you treat me like I'm just your ex. Well, technically. Shut up. You're like Tony Robbins. If he was a big, scary Frankenstein looking. You're exactly like Tony Robbins. I am a whiz. Well, she is a whiz. Ever a whiz there was. Four dicks? <laughs> Are you drunk? It's quite a bit, actually. I've seen the way she treats you. Oh, yes. And how's that? Very much like a retired librarian. Ah, uh, no, I am no Alfred, sir. No, you forget. Alfred had a job. We have to face it. You can't handle Tara being my girlfriend. No! It was bad before that, since you two went off to college and forgot about me. Just left me in the basement to... Tara's your girlfriend? Bloody hell. You actually sleep with this guy? Okay, stop it! Okay, that is enough! I see one more display of testosterone poisoning, and I will personally put you both in the hospital. Anybody think I'm exaggerating? He started. Take it you're not an Angel fan either. Well, it's not like I hate the guy. Just, you know, the guts part of him. Besides, when is there any us two? You two are the two who are the two. I'm the other one. I'm not leaving this room. I mean it. Not moving.
moving a muscle. You cannot have more catnip. You have a catnip problem. Crack a government encryption code on my laptop. Easy is really difficult. Why? When I saw that he was bad. He's not bad. Seriously? That's a good day? Oh. And... Riley? Yeah? I don't like him. Thank you. Well, then everything's all right, and we all get to be not staked through the heart. Good work, team. Does anybody else miss the mayor? I just want to be a big snake. That is so annoying. It's like somebody blurting out the answer to a riddle just when you've... I mean, yippee, we have the information. That's what you've been doing. Doing spells? She knows spells with Tara. Now, everyone that Willow's ever met is out in that audience, including all of us. The audience wants to find you, strip you naked, and eat you alive. So hide. Stop that. Sometimes I think about two women doing a spell, and then I do a spell by myself. That's very annoying. Now, go on out there, lie like dogs, and have a wonderful time. If we can stay in focus, keep our heads, and if Willow can stop stepping on everyone's cues, I know this will be the best production of Death of a Salesman we've ever done. Stop it. Of Good luck, course. everyone. You took it? Oh, I've been here forever. But what else could I expect from a bunch of low-rent, no-account hoodlums like you? Hoodlums, yes, I mean you and your friends, your whole sex. Throw them in the sea for all I care. Throw them in and wait for the bubbles. Men with your groping and spitting all groin, no brain. Three billion of you passing around the same worn-out urge. Men with your sails. Um, the things that you, uh, you know, uh, you, um, you hold them, you touch them, uh, use them. Um... Props? No. Props? Yes. Why, well, hello, little lady. Can I hold those milk pails for you? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna find another bathroom. I didn't order any vampires. Giles here is going to teach me to be a watcher. He says I got the stuff. Spike's like a son to me. Well, that's good. Got to be always moving forward. Like a shark. Like a shark with feet and much less fins. And on land. Very good. I think I figured out how to steer by gesturing emphatically. Come on, put you back into it. A watcher scoffs at gravity. Now I'll probably be pushing up daisies in the sense of being in the ground underneath them and fertilizing soil in decomposition. Here! I want you, I want you! Yes, go ahead. I am a vampire. Buffy, you have a sacred birthright to protect mankind. Don't stick out your elbow. I am a vampire. Oh, you stick me. I still think Buffy should have killed you. Okay. A man walks into the office of a doctor. He is wearing on his head, um... Wait, there's, there's a, there's a duck. Is that right? You suck. Quiet. You'll miss the humorous conclusion. And the duck tells the doctor that there's a man that's attached to my ass. <laughs> See, it was the duck and not the man that spoke. We're drawing up a plan for world domination. The key element, coffee makers that think. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, dear. <laughs> um, a mouse is playing with my knees. The demons have escaped. Please run for your lives. We better make a fort. I'll get some pillows. I made some lemonade, and I'm learning how to play mahjong. 
You know, you could have brought that up to us before we did it. I did. I said there could be a dire consequence. Yes, but you say that about chewing too fast. Well, at least you all didn't dream about that guy with the cheese. Don't know where the hell that came from. Need a little space for the cheese slices. These will not protect you. I wear the cheese. It does not wear me. Honestly, you meet the most appalling sort of people. Be back before dawn.